Welcome back. The Glen Campbell and Friends Variety Show is coming to the Majestic Theater in West Springfield next week. The show's developer, Jimmy Maz, donates to the Alzheimer's Charities after every single show honoring Glenn's struggle with this debilitating disease. Jimmy Mass joining us in studio. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to meet you it's and nice have you in studio. You, too. you have your hands full. You do so much. I do. But let's talk about this new tribute show that you're doing sure. for Glenn. Yeah, Glenn Campbell and Friends uh, is, a, is a tribute show not only to the great music of Glenn Campbell, but it also highlights a lot of his industry friends from his television show back in the late 60s and the early 70s. So the show is much more of a variety show than it is simply just a tribute show to Glenn Campbell. I mean, artists like Johnny Cash and Willie oh, Nelson, nice. John Denver. Mm -hmm. uh, he also played with the Beach Boys for two years when uh, oh. Brian Wilson had taken time off. So we feature the Beach Boys, Neil Diamond, just a whole array of guests. So it's, like I said, more of a variety show. What else can people expect at the show? What did you want to make sure that you put into it when you were planning this whole thing? Well, you know, with Glenn Campbell announcing to the world in 2011 that he had Alzheimer's disease and actually had been showing signs since 2009, oh. I wanted to make sure people understood that here's Glenn Campbell who had this illustrious career for years and years and years and he had a disease that was going to make him not be able to remember that uh -huh. and that's so t t important to me that you know he personally wouldn't remember I want people to remember that he he achieved so much through his music and he was really just a genuinely nice guy too that's he was so a good heartfelt. person and yeah. what, on top of that, made you want to give back to Alzheimer's Charities? You know, That's above and beyond. That, well, thanks. That's good. Uh, it, it is a good thing because, you know, even though I haven't experienced uh, anyone in my particular family with, with that disease, I have worked in this industry a long time, and I've done many of these facilities, even locally, many. And there's memory care units in all of these facilities. And I just feel so bad that a lot of these people don't remember the, all the great memories of their lives. And so I vowed when I wrote the show a couple of years ago that I was going to give a donation to Alzheimer's charities from every performance. Every single one. Every performance we give something. Yeah. And how many performances are you doing for this? Uh, the Majestic Theater is three performances. We have a double on Thursday, the 18th. That is going to be uh, a matinee, I think, is at 2 p.m and then an evening show at 7.30, and then on Friday there's just an evening show at 8 p.m. And what kind of audience are you gearing this towards? What can you know, people really expect? That's a great question because a lot of people think of Glenn Campbell as a country artist. And right. even though he is beloved by the country artist or the country uh, audience, mm -hmm. uh, he's actually much more of a pop kind of uh, musician. I mean, his songs were actually pop music. Yep. They weren't country music, although he mm -hmm. did a lot of country music as well. But he appeals to a much wider variety of musical taste than just the country audience. So people going in might be surprised at a little bit of a twist if they're not super familiar with the work. If, yeah, right. We will not only hit all of the great songs, the big hits of Glenn Campbell, which are, oh, there were many, 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 but we'll also sing songs by Neil Diamond and John Denver and you know all these great artists that he was affiliated with. So they can expect a nice variety, sing along, clap along, audience participation and very high energy that's what I'm kind of known for. Oh that's so. a blast yeah. and it's Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday the 18th and 19th is it? Yes 18th and 19th. Yeah. At the Majestic Theater the Majestic. in West Springfield. Right. So tickets still available? They are there's some tickets available and the nice thing about that theater there's not a bad seat in the house it's a 220 seat theater which is Beautiful. really awesome yeah mm -hmm. they're great seats and there's quite a few still available because we're as I said doing three performances so folks are welcome to give a call and uh, get their tickets. Come on down. Yeah, Sounds like a fabulous them. show, Jimmy. Thank you, Brittany. Thanks for coming on. My pleasure.